In question number seven, we're told each year Abby pays into a savings scheme. In the first year, she pays in £500. Her payments then increase by £200 each year so that she pays £700 in the second year, £900 in the third year and so on. In part A for two marks, we're asked to find out how much Abby pays into the savings scheme in the 10th year. This is an arithmetic sequence, so all I'm going to do is collect the information. A, N and D. A is the first term, which is 500. N is the number of terms, which is 10. And D is the common difference, which is 200. Using A sub N is equal to A plus N minus 1D, we can simply sub in this information. So we can say the tenth term is going to be equal to the first term, which is 500, plus n minus 1, which is 9, multiplied by the common difference of 200. So we're going to have now the tenth term will be equal to 500 plus 1800. That's going to give me 2300. So we can say in pounds, £2,300. So that's the first part done for two months. We're now told Abby pays into the scheme for N years until she's paid in a total of £67,200. In part B for five marks, we need to show that N squared plus 4N minus 24 times by 28 is equal to zero. Again, collecting the information A, N, D and S. A is the first term, which is 500. N is N. D is going to be 200. And the sum of the first N terms is 67,200. Using the sum of the first N terms, N over 2, 2A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D, we will have 67,200 will be equal to N over 2, 2 lots of A is going to give me 1,000 plus N minus 1 multiplied by D. So that's going to give me 200 and then we'll have N minus 1. We can divide through this bracket first by the 2. So we'll have 67,200 is equal to N. We will have now 500 plus 100 lots of N minus 1. At this stage, I can divide both sides of this equation by 100. 672 will be equal to n. We will have 5 plus n minus 1. So 672 will be equal to n multiplied by 4 plus n or n plus 4. I'm just going to write to the side that 672 is equal to 24 times by 28. So on the left now, I can write that this is going to be 24 times by 28 will be equal to, expanding the brackets, n squared plus 4n. Setting the left-hand side to 0, I'm going to have 0 will be equal to n squared plus 4n minus the 24 times by 28 as required. So that's part B done. In part C for two marks, it says, hence find the number of years that Abby pays into the saving scheme. If we look at it in this form and just substitute that in, we can see quite clearly N is going to be 24. All I'm going to do instead is just factor this. We will have N minus 24 multiplied by N plus 28. So we can see from here that N would be equal to 24 or n would be equal to minus 28. n can't be equal to minus 28, as this now is time. Time can't be negative, so we can say that this is going to be now 24 years. So all I've done is simply gone ahead and factored the quadratic, and we've gone and looked at the two different solutions. This minus 28 is not valid, therefore we simply state that n is going to be 24 and write down 24 years.